Greetings, everyone. Once again, this is the servant of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Jesus Christ is alive right now. It says on the right hand of the Father, according to Scripture. The Father God Almighty sent his Son, Jesus Christ, into the world to take away all our sins. So why do you still have sin? Christ came to take them away. Christ's blood, which was shed on the cross, is for the taking away of your sin, for the remission of your sin, to cleanse you from all sin. Christ's blood that was shed on the cross, he was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquity. That means to take away our iniquity. Hallelujah. 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 All right. Well, I need to go here. Hallelujah. I need to go here. I had no plan on going to God, no. The Holy Ghost just led me here. Christ came to take away all your sin. He was bruised for our iniquity. Wounded for our transgression. That means to take them away. I had some. I don't know about it yet, but I might just, I might just change this. I might just change this, this, this plan message right now. Let me, let me just change this right now. He would prove our ridiculous, wound of our transgression. That means to take away our ridiculous and take away our transgression. That would that be. All right, go to the book of Peter. Uh, I think I want Peter 225. Peter 225. Let's say that message right there. I, I come back later and then, you know, and do the other plan. But this is important. Let me write it down, too. Let me write this down where I won't forget. Call I have I have one, two, three, four, five messages on this laptop that I have not even uploaded yet. So I need to write this down. Word of our transgression. Hallelujah. He will word of our transgression. That means to take our transgression away and to take our sin away. Behold the Lamb of God that take away the sin of the world. This is the blood of the New Testament, which is shed for me for the remission of our sins. Take away. I asked a group, I was preaching to a group, and I asked them, I say, what do remission mean? My God, wasn't nobody saying nothing. I think two people said, take away. I say, that you right. Jesus came and take away our iniquity, take away our sins. You walking around talking about ain't nobody without sin. That's because you don't have Jesus. All right, give me Peter 2. He will wood of our church. Then we'll go to Isaiah. Then we'll come here. Make a full circle. You hear this? You hear this uh, 
this this quoted in church a lot. Ruling by he was wounded by transgression. And you still got transgression. What mind with you? Hypocrite. In Peter chapter 2, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, 1 Peter, yeah, 1 Peter chapter 2, I got all day and night. We better begin with verse 21. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 21. For even here do what you call, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that we should follow his step. Not the flesh, not the sin nature, not the devil, but follow Christ's step. Who did no sin? Now if you go follow Christ's step, you ain't gonna do no sin. Ain't that right? Neither would God found in his mouth. Who will he were revived, revived not again? When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judged and righteous. Who his own self bear our sins on his body on the tree? That we be dead to sin, not, not dead in sin, dead to sin. When somebody, how many of you have that, that ever been, been in a relationship or had a good friend, a boyfriend, a husband, or a wife, and, or you heard of somebody and they got mad at them and they said, you dead to me. You know what that means? You don't affect me one bit. You dead to me. I, I had an uncle that told his girlfriend, so, so you, you just like a paper sack laying over there. Don't mean nothing to me. You know when you're dead to something, you're dead. It don't affect you at all. Dead to sin, not dead in sin. Dead to sin. But now when you were dead in sin, you were dead in sin. You had sin. Dead in trespassing sin. And that's Ephesians chapter 2. <laughs> now we back at Peter 2.24. Who his own self bear our sin in the it is all by the only tree that we be dead to sin. Sin don't bother us. We ain't wrestling with sin. We ain't struggling with sin. We ain't struggling to get free from nothing. No sin. Cause we dead to it. Hallelujah. The sixth chapter of Romans, yeah, we continue in sin. That great man about God for being, how can we that are dead to sin, live it along with that man. That we being dead to sin, what do dead sin mean? Should live unto righteousness. Don't live unto sin. Don't you live unto sin. Don't live unto sin, but live unto righteousness. I'm living to wake righteousness. I'm living to do God's will. I'm not living to see. That we should live unto righteousness by whose stripes we are healed. That not talking about healing from a backache, cancer, high blood, low blood, rheumatism, of arthritis. And talking about heal from sin. The Jesus say in the, the Mark chapter 2, verse 17, 16, 17, they that I hold need not a position, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Uh-huh. By whose strike 
ye were healed. You healed. How you sick and healed at the same time? How, how you clean from sin and you still have sin at the same time? How you clean and dirty at the same time? I remember Smokey Robin had a song out years ago. I believe it was the year 1979. Say, uh, 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 how can you be in daylight and darkness at the same time? Well, for ye were as sheep going astray, but thou have returned. You know where you went astray, you You were as sheep going astray. You going astray from the word of God. You going astray from the scripture. You going astray from righteousness. You going astray from holiness. When you go astray, you go in sin. You disobey God. But ye were as sheep going astray, but I have now returned to the shepherd and bishop of your soul. And that's Jesus. That ain't pastor, that's Jesus. Jesus said, hallelujah, hallelujah. He care about the night and night. More, uh, when he came out the war that went astray, that the night and night that needed no repentance. You know the war that went astray need repentance. Uh, I think that's Luke chapter 12. Yeah. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 12. I think that's what I want. The war that went astray need repentance. You need to repent. Hallelujah. Luke 12. <laughs> Hallelujah. Look what Jesus said. I think I want Luke 12. Where well, is what I want? And Luke 15. Luke 15. There we are. Luke 15 said, I say unto you, then likewise, do shall be in him more one sin than repent. One sin, sin, you got to repent. There are no 99 just that need no repentance. If you're a sinner, you ain't just. You ain't perfect. You ain't holy. You ain't righteous. You're not Christian. You're not saint. I say unto you, Luke 15 said, I say unto you, and likewise, joy shall be in him more once sin than repent. Repent. There's old, there's old 99 just that need no repent. Six. When he coming home, call again all the friends and neighbors saying unto them, Rejoice with me, I am found by sheep which were lost. Your will is straight. Now back to Peter 2 24. Who is on self bear? I see it in the body on tree. That we been dead to sin. If Jesus died for your sin, that means you been dead to sin. You probably be dead to sin. That dead. Man. I don't care what sin do, it just don't bother you. You can't bother no dead man. Hallelujah. Should live unto right. Live unto right. By whose right you were here. Live unto righteousness. All right. I want first John chapter three. First John chapter three. At verse seven. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. He that commits sin is of a devil. Righteousness is not sin. When you do righteousness, you ain't doing sin. When you're doing sin, you ain't righteous. You are the devil. You don't want to be of the devil? All right, you better repent. Then come to Jesus. Believe Jesus. He's alive. Here, God raised him from the dead. Believe him. Repair of your sin. Call on him to save you and take away all your sin. And when he died, brother, take away your sin. Hallelujah. All right. 
Now they go to where? How do you pick three? You know, me and have came in. I did 53 five. But he will move about transgress. He will prove our ridiculous. Check time out people below him. And by his strike, we are here. And talk about heal from iniquity and heal from transgress. When you heal, you ain't sick no more. When you heal of a disease, you don't have it no more. When a blind man is healed of his blindness, he's not blind no more. When you heal a high blood pressure, you don't have high blood no more. When you heal from your sin sick, you don't have sin no more. And here is where the Holy Ghost took me, led me when I first came on. Psalms 103 and 3. Psalm 103 and 3. Psalm 103 and 3. Glory to God. Psalms 103 and 3. It actually what the uh, Psalm 103 and 3. Let's start with one. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that within me. Bless it all in that. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. What's the benefits? I know, I know where your mind going. I know where your mind going. Natural thing. The gold, silver, land, material. Yeah, the Lord blessed with that too. Hallelujah. Let, let, let's see this. Now I got Let's see that. Psalm 6819. Let's look at these benefits. Then we're coming back here. Psalm 68, 19. Lord. Psalm 68 and 19. Blessed be the Lord who had loaded us with benefits. Even the God of our salvation. See, Lord, he that is our God is the God of salvation. And unto God, the Lord, belong the issues of death. But God shall wound the head of the enemies. And the hairy scalp of such a one that goeth on stealing his trespasses. Continue your trespasses. God going to bruise your head. God going to woo your head. Yeah. Look at those benefits. Hallelujah. I, uh, the Lord said, I will bring again from Bashan. I will bring my people again from the depths of the sea. That thy foot may be dipped in the blood of thy enemy. Look at those benefits. All right. Hallelujah. Verse 18. Thou hast ascended on high, thou hast led captivity captive, and thou hast received gifts for men, yea, for the rebellious also, that the Lord God might dwell among them. Now, back over to 103. 
and two. Bless the Lord of my soul, forgetting all, all his benefits, who forgiveth thy iniquity. That's the benefit. Forgive thy iniquity. Heal it all thy diseases. He wounded for your transgression, for my transgression. So we won't have transgression. So we won't have sin. So we won't walk in sin. So we won't continue in sin. So we'll be clean from sin. So we'll be holy without spot or wrinkle. He wounded for our transgression. All right, that's enough of that. Thank you for being.